Alright, hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you um, my eggs because I haven't showed you them since they've been laid. So, um, I'm just going to show you them now. So, I'll show you my incubator. So, as you most of you know, it's a hover baiter. There we go, hover baiter. And um, right now in there, it's about 85. But it'll start warming up since my room's kind of cold. Since, you know, it's just, I just woke up and. Um, getting warmer outside, but, uh, here, hold on, let me remove, oh yeah, now these, I really like, these are really good incubators, um, now what I use for incubation tubs, I use these little, um, container store, iris tubs, um, these are, like, the small little square ones and they work really good and you could easily fit four in here I only have two and then I have that little deli cup there but um now some of these you see they don't have a lay date because those are some that are expected to be laid and and those are actually she's gonna lay tonight so but these ones were laid on July 6th as you can see they're really plump very fat and plump and it has the little line so I know that what um side so they don't roll. Um, yeah. Here's a comparison to the size, to the size of my finger. Yeah, they're very plump. Um, definitely fertile. Um, those were after crossed to high yellow, so we're probably only gonna get heads. Um, probably only we're only getting 50% heads for albinos, so. That's fine. And then I'll just uh, breed these two clutches if I get male and female. And then um, I'll try to get like 66% or 100%. And then um, I'll breed the hundreds. And then I'll, um, I'll get some more raptors. So that's pretty cool. Um, there's nothing in there. This is another expected delay soon. And here we have um, a clutch that was laid on July, uh, July 28th, and this was only one egg that came out of her. Uh, it was hypo cross to super hypo, so not sure if we're going to get hypos or super hypos. Uh, we're expected to get both if there was two, but since there's only one, I have no idea. Um, now this one, it was laid a few days ago, so it's not super huge yet does look good. It's really nice. And um, I use vermiculite as my incubation medium. And um, I've always used that and um, you know I've had four successful hatchlings so I'm definitely not going to change what I use if um, it's all being successful. So um, yeah. So those are my eggs. Um, that's I'll do more egg updates um, once I get more. Like this girl's supposed to, this girl, this girl, this girl, and then I, I'm gonna breed her soon, and then she just laid the single egg, but I'm gonna get her fattened up and breed her again. And then this girl I might breed, um, so I have a lot of breeding plans. And then this girl, she's a little bit too light, but I would. Um, but yeah, so those are all my eggs, and um, yeah, thanks for watching.